So what road's this? Uh, Mount Agony Road. We've got to turn off up ahead for the caravan park. How far, you reckon? Oh, I don't know, a couple of k's. How nice is this? It's beautiful. I love these trees, it's like an archway. Wow, that was pretty tight getting in. It's going to be fun getting out too, I reckon. It was a bit tight, but how nice is it down here? There's so many birds. Are you all sorted out inside? Yep, all done. It's probably time for a beer then. We've just been down to Depot and Pebbly Beaches and I tell you what, they are bloody nice beaches, especially Depot Beach. I think tomorrow we'll come back and uh, watch the sunrise from here and maybe have pancakes on the beach. I reckon that'd be pretty awesome. Well, the forecast is for rain and wind today, so we're going to head out to uh, Ulladulla, visit the Tourist Information Centre and get some info. And then we're going to head down to the co-op and get some prawns and fish for dinner. Geez, there's so many birds down here. Check out these guys, they're so friendly. I reckon you know, if you just sit quietly, they'll come around, the birds come around, and it's really relaxing. Well, it's another dodgy day weather-wise on the coast, more rain and uh, winds. So we're heading for the hills. The lady at the information centre yesterday recommended the drive out to Shallow Crossing. So that's where we're heading to now, down to Shallow Crossing. Probably the best way to describe this drive would be diverse. You, you have open paddocks and farmland like this, and then you turn the next corner and you're in thick bush with rainforest and tree ferns and whatnot. It's just a different sort of drive.
This is shallow crossing. <laughs> what the lady at the information centre didn't say was that it's um, subject to the tide. So luckily for us, it's pretty much low tide and we had no issues getting across, but if it was high tide, you might struggle. Something we also saw out here was a camping ground and it looks bloody nice. So it's right on the river and we're definitely gonna be coming back out here for that. So you see the river road, it just parallels the Clyde River. So we've just come across shallow crossing and we're heading towards Nelligan. This is one of those beautiful places you come across when you're out driving aimlessly about. This one, it's called Curroan Creek. And I'll tell you what, if you are in the Batons Bay area, it's well worth the drive out here with shallow crossing in here. And there's some beautiful places to see. It's our last day here at North Taurus and the sun's come out, hasn't it? So we've come down to the beach and we're just going to have a wander around and see what we've been missing these last few days. It would have been nice to have spent a bit more time down here, I think. We would have, except the work for the weather. Yeah, you reckon you'd stay here again though? Yeah, it's okay. The area is beautiful, but I think I prefer places like Depot Beach. Yeah, I agree. While I was searching for answers In longing I can't understand these tracks on the beach and we started following them and bugger me if we didn't come up on a snake a little black snake I think he is he's lying in the sun there so, so here we are on North Durris Beach we've been down here for the last three days it's been shit weather been raining mostly um, but it's been a nice area, what do you reckon darling? Yeah, it's lovely, yeah. It's nice now the sun's out. For a change, yeah. So tomorrow we're heading off to Lake Conjola for five days, so we'll see how that goes. We're out here today and how nice is the weather. We had a bit of fun getting out, it's pretty tight, lots of hairpin turns, but we got out in the end. You know, I'd probably best describe the park as rustic, it's a little bit dated, but it is nice. So for us, our next stop is Lake Conjola. You can see they copped the fires here pretty badly. Uh, the, a lot of dead trees and still a lot of regrowth and it's, it's all coming back, but geez, it's, it's copped it. So, you know, hopefully it all comes back in the end.
Well, this is us. What do you think of this spot? Beautiful. It's only 26 steps to the water because I'm measuring it. <laughs> I'm going to be in there every morning for a swim, I reckon. Me too. Dude, the water looks beautiful. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> nice hat. <laughs> Well, we've woken up to a cracker of a day today, so we're off to the beach. I'm really keen to get back into a bit of surfing, and the mate James has lent me one of his old boards, so thanks, mate. It's been probably 12, 15 years since my last surf, so <laughs> wish me luck. Man, I am so not paddle fit. Check this out going over the first wave. It's like the Pasha Bolka. I think I went through the wave, not over it. Well, that didn't go too well at all. I didn't even catch a wave. Um, the board just sunk when I lay on it. It was just too heavy for the board, so I um, was going to have to make some other arrangements, I think. I was absolutely buggered when I got back on the beach. I was blowing so hard. Felt like I'd run a marathon. <laughs> Christine thought I was going to cark it. <laughs> anyway, to be, look, to be honest, I was pretty disappointed with myself. And then I figured it out that the board just didn't have enough buoyancy for my weight. So after the debacle on the beach this morning, we've headed into Ulladulla. And I found this board. I'm pretty excited about it. It's, a, it's almost new. Um, McCoy Nugget, eight foot. And I reckon a sumo wrestler could paddle it. So I'm hoping it'll probably be good enough for me. Now I've just got to look for some waves and see how I go. How good is this place, Lake Conjola? We've been here two nights and been two noisy nights, admittedly, but um, hopefully tonight it'll be a bit quieter. It's been beautiful weather the last two days, but today the sun has gone. It's buggered off on us. But we shall endure. We're going to head over to Bendalong today and have a bit of a look over there, see uh, what it's like. There's a potential spot we'll come next time. What do you reckon about Dee Beach? It's lovely. There's a nice little beach down there. Tell you what, it might be better on a sunny day, I think. It's a terrible day today, but it looks like it'd be a good place to swim. Well, surprisingly, it's raining again today. So we, we had a look around Bendalong and Dee Beach and those sort of areas this morning, and it's a beautiful area. And now we're on our way up to Porters Creek Dam in Morton National Park. So far, it's been a really nice drive. Um, hopefully, we get up there, we'll be able to cook a bit of lunch if it stops raining. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. Well here we are up at Porters Creek Dam. Now the dam is part of the water supply for the southern Shoalhaven region. It's not a huge dam by dam standards, but it is really pretty up here. Just look at that mist rolling through the trees. How good does that look?
Hey, what a beautiful spot this is. It's raining at the moment, of course, you can see the rain, misty rain, but it's not um, putting us off anything. We just had lunch up here, which was nice. Just had a couple of steak sangers that we made, just cooked up. So, but yeah, beautiful little spot. I know, there's no noise, no birds, nothing. It actually feels a bit eerie. Yeah, it does a bit. Doesn't the grass look good? Hey, I reckon Dino would have gone for low range there. What do you reckon? Definitely. He'd be lucky to get through that in his truck. Does this remind you of Picnic at Hanging Rock? Uh, I might have, I suppose, if I'd seen the movie, but it does look amazing. I'll keep harping on about it, but this bloody weather, it hasn't improved. It's still raining and windy, and so we're, all, we're trying to move away from the coast, find somewhere else to go. So we're up into Morton National Park again, and this time we're on our way up to George Boyd Lookout. A lot of the tracks up here have been closed, so we're pretty limited as to where we can go, but Morton National Park, there's something about it, it's nice. So up on top of George Boyd Lookout in Morton National Park. A little bit of a four-wheel drive to get up here, which was not too hard, but still fun. So looking out to the coast there, you can see Lake Conjola and Bendalong. And then heading up north to Sussex Inlet. Especially that lookout. I suppose I should have bought a jacket. You never do.
Oh, bit of a funny day today. Because it was raining and wet this morning and bloody cold, we decided let's head up into Morton National Park and have a look at a few of the um, lookouts and stuff. So in, we probably went to three different places and two of them were locked out due to whatever, probably the fires that happened 18 months ago. And then we decided let's head down to Sussex Inlet, Barara, Swan Lake, that area. And that's where we are now. So I'll give you a bit of a look around here. We're sitting on a little beach right on Swan Lake. We just had lunch. So I'll show you what that's all about. Beautiful spot here. At least it's a bit warmer down here. Yep. You going in for a dip? <laughs> no. It's not warm enough for me. We're out here on Kanjurong Point, which is the northern side of Lake Kanjala, pretty much the opposite side to where we were staying in the caravan park. And that's a green island there, and um, it's supposed to be a pretty epic surf spot on its day. So this is Warden Head, just in Ulladulla, that's where the lighthouse is. It's another beautiful day down here on the south coast, as you can see. Actually, it's our last day at Lake Conjola, and tomorrow we're heading up to Kurrarong for a few days there. So that should be nice. They're good views from up here, aren't they? Do you want to go down the beach for a walk? That'd be nice. I really like it here.
There are so many birds and kangaroos in this caravan park. They're bloody everywhere. Um, they come right up to you. They'll wander through your campsite. And Dr. Doolittle over here, she can't help herself, so she's got to feed them. And, you know, we get more than most, I suppose. But it is really nice to see up this place. We've made it up to Kurrurong and we're all set up on our caravan site. Yep, and words can't explain how excited we both are. We're going to catch up with some friends that we haven't seen for 20 or 30 years. We are really looking forward to that. This is John and Leanne. Uh, we haven't seen these guys for 20 or 30 years. They met at our wedding. Uh, Christine and uh, Leanne went to school, the same school. Um, John and I, we went to the same school. We played soccer, surfed, went on surf trips. We just go way back both sides. Um, and I mean, we live an hour away from each other and we haven't seen each other in that long. It's just, I don't know, life gets in the way, doesn't it? But right now we're going to enjoy a good couple of days with them. Uh, we're heading out to Gossang's Tunnel in Abraham's Bosom National Park at Kararong for a bit of a walk and a swim hopefully on the coast. So let's go. So we've got things tunnel, it's like a 20-30 metre hole in the rock and you've got to crawl through, well Christine doesn't, she can stand up and walk through, she's that little. But the rest of us, we've got to crawl um, and you come out on the sea cliffs through probably 20-30 metres up above the water and there's some stunning views out there, it's really <laughs> worth visiting. So what was your favourite part of the holiday? Swimming at Wilson's Beach was pretty awesome. I love catching up with John and Leanne. 
And I think just the amount of birds, it was really nice to see all the birds. Yeah, well mine was catching up with John and Leanne as well. I thought that was amazing. And I think I really like Lake Conjola, the Bendalong area. Okay, so what was your least favourite part of the holiday? The weather and all the noisy grey nomads. <laughs> yeah, they were noisy. The weather was probably mine. I just wanted to laze around on the beach, go for a surf, a snorkel, you know, just relax. The crap weather stopped most of that, but I did enjoy what we did on those days. But for me, yeah, the weather was the most disappointing thing. Well, what would you change next time then? Try not to stay in caravan parks over the weekends, I think. Yeah, I agree that 100%. Uh, too noisy they were and too crowded for us. Um, I'd probably also stay at Bendalong or maybe Depot Beach. Uh, I love those two spots, so that's what I would change. <laughs>